it's Don here from the board. Thank you for checking out another one of our videos. Today I'm going to be doing a very quick short unboxing video of my latest mass drop acquisition. So got home from work today and I have a box sitting here waiting for me from mass drop and it's none other than the Cherry PBT group buy that was run uh, probably about a month, month and a half or so ago, I think, from recollection. Anyway, uh, I had been expecting it because Massdrop did actually send out the notification that it had shipped, so let's get straight into it. Here's the uh, typical Massdrop box, and uh, as you can see, it's, it's big, it's oversized, uh, relatively well packaged, it's got their, uh, their branding all over it, and uh, let's get cracking into it. Now, just uh, cutting open the box and the tape, and we can. I, I would say it's it's kind of really excessive packaging, but I don't know. Maybe either they have too many big boxes, or they just want to make sure it gets here safely. Um, yeah. What can I say? Oh, okay. That was uh, unexpected. Now I realize that you can't see what I'm talking about yet, but first of all, let's take out my uh, invoicey bit. And second of all, there's another box inside. Um, rather unexpected. <laughs> wow, look at, look, look at that. It's a nice black packaged box. And of course, customary uh, inner lining of air pockets. Let's just put that aside. Baby can play with that later, maybe. And you can see it's a, uh, it's I guess it's almost it's really the size of like a 60% uh, a keyboard. And I'm gonna pull out a HHKB, and you can actually look at that. That that would be a perfect size to carry around a HHKB, and if you needed it to be shipped. All right, now we still don't quite know who manufactured this set because as part of the buy, it didn't actually have any details on it. There is a barcode on the side that you can see here and it says MDX 9282 gray, 133 key PBT cherry keycap gray set. There are no other markings that I can see. So if anyone actually recognizes that SKU, um, I think that's mass drop. Maybe Mastrop X. I I don't know. Just a guess. And here we go. Nice and snug. And oh, look at that. That's that's a really interesting grey. Um. So we've got our Efro. We've got the full sixty percent there. It looks like there might be some. Some liftable layer. There we go. So we can lift that up, and there is the rest of it. There's the numpad over here. Uh, let's try and move it so the shadow from the mic doesn't get too bad. And uh, arrow keys and the home block. Now, obviously, it doesn't come with an actual keycap puller, but that's where it would have lived if it did come with one. Now, I'm just going to take that layer up as well. I don't expect that there's actually anything underneath. Oh, wait, yes, there is. So there is um, a couple more keys. Now, yes, it was the extra set, so it does actually support some other layouts, including the ISO, as well as a much longer spacebar and a couple of different keys there. So now this was, I believe, laser. No, it's not laser. I think it's just pad printed, um, but I, I could be wrong. I'd have to go and look at the actual buy details again. Um, does it have anything on it? Does it say? Nope, it does not say. Uh, it's been so long ago that I actually can't remember what the details are because there's just so much stuff happening. But there's a stepped caps lock there. There's some 1U Windows keys, which are kind of nice. Um, if you're doing like a, a ortho linear build or something like that. Um, and a very short... I think that's a 125 shift key as well. So, first impressions, it's pretty neat. It's a very subtle looking set because obviously having that actual 
pad print on it, it doesn't stand out very well. It's actually so subtle that the camera is having difficulty in focusing on the actual text. Um, there we go. So you can see it's a very thin font. Uh, it's very simple. It's very clean. I think the font looks quite nice. In fact, uh, if we just bring up the legends there, if it'll focus. Come on, get into focus. Doesn't want to focus. Stick my hand out. Alright, that's probably the best it's going to do for the moment. Um, I think there's just not enough contrast on the actual legends against the grey, which is why the camera's not doing a good focus, but you can see it's fairly standard. There's nothing unusual about it, and just by looking at it, um, backspace is printed correctly, there's no actual space between the back and the space of the backspace, and yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's just it's it's very thick, it's very solid, so that's the thickness of the cap that you can see right there. The walls are very, very solid, very thick. Now let me find a ruler. There's a ruler, and let's check out how thick they are. So they're just on one and a half, if not Yeah. Just on one and a half mil, which which is excellent. Um, they're very solid. I can I can squeeze them, and they're not really going anywhere. And they've got the inner supports as well. So now, what that does mean is, though, if you did actually get the set, and for whatever reason, if you wanted to make artisans with these, and you were going to put them on the synth, you would have a problem because having those supports would get in the way of the actual inside support frame of the synth. Not that I would use this probably at all for making artisans, but that's just if you were going to. Um, and it is cherry profile, so the stagger is actually there. I'm just popping out. So you can see that uh, that row profile for that bottom row as well is quite different to that F key row just then, which is that. Now by comparison to an OEM profile, um, you can see that there is a bit of a, a height difference in between the two. So, yeah, looks good. Looks good indeed. Um, let's just get that side by side at the back. There we go. So it's it's a couple of middle shorter on that top row profile, and obviously that stagger also changes on the way down. So there you go, quick and dirty. Um, I don't have a sound test or anything like that because uh, it would probably take me too long to actually strip out one of my keyboards. I do actually plan on using this key set at work to change out my ABS caps that I have at work because uh, I think it's time for me to, to upgrade and have something nice at work since I spend so many hours a day there using it. Alright, really like the case, the, the box that it came with, the foam in it, um, it's holding it really well. You can sort of see that I can, I can upend it and keys don't go anywhere. Uh, I do have a set of keys from Elite Keys, Top Row Keys, and they were just slotted cardboard. The keys move around and they rattle in that, and I think this is a much better holder for it, which is great because it means if I was to ever transport any sort of expensive keys in the future, um, and I didn't want them scratched, or if I was shipping a set to be sold, then I would definitely be potentially using something like this if I had that available. So. For the price, uh, it was 20, what, what was I looking at there? I think it was $25 by the time that the drop actually shipped, and getting it to me, it was only about, I think, $40, and to get that to Australia, 40 US for a full set of Cherry keycaps, Cherry Profile PBTs, excellent value, excellent value. Um, while I do not regret not getting more than one of these sets, I certainly would have been more than happy to get more than one if I actually had use for it kind of thing or if I wanted to get a set to give away or have as a present that kind of stuff. So thumbs up, master up, feels good, looks good, hopefully it'll sound good and excellent value for the price. If they do run one of these drops again in the near future and you're looking for a cherry set in PBT, 
you don't mind the fact that it is very thin legends and the contrast isn't very high at least on the gray set then this looks to be the go for you all right thank you very much for checking out this video this week um, i will have another video this week very shortly and it is my comparison between the hhkb and the leopold fc 660c so that will be in a couple of days time when i put it up all right and uh as usual until next time happy clacking